Welcome, this is Kilohertz on Diablo 3. I'm bringing to you, every, um, if you people remember from Season 1 and Season 2, Condemned Crusader. So far, I am at a 62 greater rift. Uh, oh, 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 wrong button. This is the build I'm using. I am using my primary slash with zeal under the utility which is the right mouse click I am using provoke too scared to run uh, from number one I am using condemned with the vacuum defense is iron skin steel skin laws of justice is Im immovable object accurate champion with profit now, the reason why I am using Iron Skin and Laws. Oh. Let's see. Uh, active Empowered Law, granting you and your allies 490 90 increase resist to all elements and increased armor by 7,000 for 5 seconds. And then for the passes, of course, uh, the Heavenly Strength for to use a shield and two-hander. Holy cause. Uh, the amount of damage dealt by your weapon is increased by 10%. And whenever you deal holy damage, you heal up to 1% of your total life. Uh, long arm of the law. Increased duration of the effect of all laws by 5 seconds. And, of course, everybody's little favorite, finery. Now, when I... Do do this the reason why I'm at 33 mil toughness without accurates and anything else popped when I do my accurates and pop those two I go to 142 million uh, that is the reason why because unfortunately there's not really that much damage reduction you can get inside of again uh, with the accurate set um, so you know you get crit a little, you get crit the, uh, the right way, you're, you're, you're squishy. Now, the gems I use is Bane of the Trapped. Uh, increased damage against enemies under the effect of controlled effects by 30%. Gaining the order that reduces movement speed of enemies within, within 15 yards for 30%. I used Bane of the Stricken. Uh, each attack you make against an enemy increases the damage it takes from your uh, attacks by 1.29% gain 25% increased damage against bosses and rift guardians and this one uh, I can't I, oh my god I have trouble pronouncing some stuff this is one of them it's the pretty much the toughness gem uh, gain 35% uh, non-physical damage reduction while below 50% life your resist to cold, fire, lightning, poison, and arcane are increased by 75%. And for everybody who wants to play a Condemned Crusader, the best way to maintain accurate form, you need 56% CDR. Which means you gotta, re you gotta roll CDR everywhere. Uh, I opted out on my weapon because it had 8 to go straight with holy damage. My shield has 8. Uh, let's see, and this is the belt you want to get. Vigilance belt. It automatically rolls with CDR. Uh, I rolled the necklace for uh, 5. Uh, one ring at 8. The other ring at 8 shoulders eight and my hands it rolled with six so I just rolled some vitality in it but uh, gave me 57.32 now after you're done rolling everything and if you're still lacking the CDR you can opt out from the illusionary boots to the Lorix crown which will then increase any gem socketed into your helmet by 100%, so it will actually bump up your CDR. So now my CDR is 
63.43%. I use illusionary boots, so I can actually move through enemies and I can't be stopped. Now, uh, Paragon Points. This is what I've done on, on Season 10. I'm actually Paragon 528 right now. Uh, on the core, I, you know, maxed me out to the 25% movement speed, so I needed to put 14 on movement speed. Uh, pretty much I cycle between strength and vitality. I put a couple points in strength, and the next couple Paragon points I put into vitality. Um, under uh, offense, yeah, offense, max out CDR right off the bat. Uh, and then I went to crit hit chance, now I'm on critical hit damage, and then I'll be going to the attack speed. And, let's see, I went, yeah, I went straight to armor on defense, then life, and then to resist all, under utility. I am, I did straight to re resource cost reduction area damage, now life on hit. Now let's get into some gameplay. Now, uh, do, do, do. This is why I have those two abilities. They use them at the same time. They come off CD at the same time, so you can just turn around and um, keep keep using them. And what I found out, actually, a lot of us found out, is just keep spamming the uh, condemn. Ooh. That's what happens if you lose your, uh, your accurates and not paying attention like I did. I'll get the one shot in. One thing you gotta pay attention to is your skills. If you sit there and you forget to put up your iron scan, uh, your laws, or forget to go back into accurate before the CD um, the cooldown pops off, you're gonna get critted. I mean, it's not gonna like completely save your save your ass, but at least you'll be able to reduce some of the damage. I mean, Blizzard needs to put like a passive or something that, uh, on the set that allows uh, damage reduction or at least a good pair of bracers to maybe go with the set. You know how like there's uh, the Argent Defenders. And I forget the name of the Witch Doctor ones that, as long as you're using Soul Harvest, uh, you get the reduced damage, and the Demon Hunters, was it Clemen? No. I forget what the Demon Hunter is called. Yeah. No, Clemity is the, uh, bow. Oh, Clemency, I believe, is the Bracers. That all, if you, you know, at a certain distance, you get the damage reduction. 
That's the one problem that the accurate set does not have, and it really needs to not really be reworked, but just a couple things added to it. That's why I was getting hit hard. Ah, uh, for a T11. I think I've only got one legendary so far. Bastards. And no, I have not gotten any primals yet, because like I said, I'm only at a GR62. And you need to solo a... I believe it's either solo, or you need to unlock a GR70. As in completed GR70 to actually uh, unlock the primal legendaries, if I remember correctly, I believe that's what I read on the form. So I was curious on how to get them. And this is why I like those boots, because I can just wait walk through all that freaking mess which normally you don't have them that wall would keep you stuck well that's not a good day Should put my freaking bra Oh crap, there we go. Take the power one. died and this poor person just got the Rick Riding poured it on top of their head. I'll work my way back down. Come on. There we go. Thank you, Mr. Rick Riding. Sucks because I lost the power shrine. Bastard. But, you know what, that's what happens when you don't frickin' pay attention, and you die. Oh, 
Come on. Come on, you fat. That'd be nice. My daughter actually says I need to chill out with my language on on my videos. Huh? Uh -uh. And the only reason why I'm like really picking up all the other crap gear is because I've uh, been re-rolling a lot of gear. As in like the uh, reforge and upgrading from uh, rares to legendaries. But, so takes a few minutes. Well, it takes a lot of materials. This guy needs them. Nope. As I pick the fucking shield back up. Game lag. So that's pretty much my condemned crusader. Um. It's okay, I mean, like I said, they need to add a few more stuff to it. It's... It's not quite a really viable build, in my opinion, just yet. But, if they can add some stuff to it, um, in my opinion, it could be viable. Because, let's see, uh, I can't actually show you guys now, but within... Like the first three, four days of season ten, I took a condemned crusader and actually placed on the leaderboard. I uh, did a forty-seven G rift, and I hit uh, blue was seven for rank was like seven twenty-one or seven twenty-two. So as long as they could make it a little bit more viable, so you don't get hit as hard, give you something for. A little bit of damage reduction somewhere. Like, you know, the braces. Enemies are knocked back. Eh. Now, strong arm braces are really good to use. Now, if it could could have, you know, been a mandatory passive that you get a damage reduction like these. Uh, I gotta find them in here. They were in here. Huh. Oh, let's see. Thought they were. I didn't. Ah, oh, here they are. Right, each stun enemy. Within 25 yards, 25 yards reduces your damage taken by 12%. Now, if there was something sort of like that for the Acris build, like, okay, Blessed Shield damage, I mean, we got a few things that I believe that does say Blessed Shield damage on. If they take the Acris, uh bracers that are currently in-game, switch the passive to be, you know... You know, uh, like, 
enemies within you know five yards reduces your damage taken by you know 12 or whatever percent it's something that will actually help with the accurate set so we don't get like pretty much one-shotted that's my opinion I mean they got they gotta do something I mean because let's see they got heaven furies deal 200% increased damage they got a lot of stuff for like heaven's fury they, they could even take some of this you know items from that and put it for the accurate set it's I mean to me it just needs a little bit more work um, to make it like a really viable uh, class. I mean, they did, in my opinion, they did a really good job with the set, and I actually like that they actually added the necklace, because now, you know, if someone doesn't have a crown, you can use the royal uh, ring in your cube, and actually craft where uh, okay pant the pants and the belt right here okay now if you didn't have the crown and you needed that extra CDR you could actually craft the Captain Crimson's Trust or the Captain Crimson Silk Girdle which the two set bonus reduces uh, regenerates 6,000 life per second reduces cooldown of all skills by 10% now with the royal ring you'll get the three set bonus which is 50% uh, resist to all elements and reduces all resource costs by 10% so it's another way to get that extra CDR if you you know aren't lucky enough to get a crown to drop so, like I said, that's my little spiel video for the Condemned Crusader. Um, hit, you know, smash that like, hit the subscribe button. Uh, and once again, I apologize for the not the gaps in the videos. I just moved into my new place, so I will be starting to do a lot more recording. So, you guys have a good day and. Hope all your crits are nice and get some good loot.